It's an Equisetum giganteum. It's an ancient relative of ferns, and back during the Carboniferous period, where we get most of our coal and gas from, these, these became big trees. And so there are only about 18 species left in the world and only a couple that are tropical, and this is the biggest of them. And these are the fronds? <laughs> and these are actually all stems. The actual leaves are, are actually fused around each of these sheaths. They're actually a fusion of many leaves mm. into one single sheath. Okay. And the sheath, when they're young, is green, and then it goes and then it kind of becomes dried out to, at maturity. Yeah. I mean, am I correct to assume they're aquatic or are they? These grow semi-aquatic. They like to have their feet wet, grow in water. And these can get, you know, about five meters tall in South America. Notable for their great amount of symmetry where they have all this, these whirls of branches around each node in the concentric circles. Unlike ferns, they make spores, but their spores, instead of being on leaves, are actually on these little cones. The spores that they produce have these little wings called elaters, and they and they flip out or in with changes of humidity and they will actually jump around, which is quite oh. unique.